Welcome to Sugubo Tutorials. I just downloaded the SRTM data here. I used add data layer. Just went to the, my folder where I just saved my Coimbatore SRTM data. I just opened it here. So your map will appear like this in gray color. Now I am going to give color for this. See this in gray color. Go to properties. Symbology. Go to single pseudo color. And then you got color palette here. You can choose your color palette. So minimum color should come in blue and maximum height color should come in red color you arrange it apply save ok now the gray color appears in color see whatever you are seeing in blue color is a low elevation area gradually it is increasing upland area and then you got a highland area now i wanted to make contours before contour you have to ensure one thing in what projection this coordinate system normally when you download normally when you download it will be in utm projection so you have to ensure before making contours it should be in utm projection if it is in geographical coordinate system it will not give the contours it has to be converted utm the values are in meters so you have to check it up for which what you should do you have to go go to properties source see now you can see in the source the projection is srtm wgs84 world mercator see information also you can see it see geotiff the unit in meters it is not in decimal degree if it is in geography coordinates the unit will be in minutes and seconds here it is meters this you have to ensure then next to that you have to use fill because the whole thing there will be some gaps at the time of deriving data there may be some gaps so that you have to fill it up for which what you should do you have to go to processing tool go to toolbox the toolbox in the search you type fill when you do that you go to saga under the saga fill sync wang and liu this method you have to use it please note down you have to type fill then after that in saga this is the best method to fill uh, your dem so you go to this one and then see automatically my raster data is loaded after that you have to fill it up so run it it is performing the fill that is wherever the pixels gaps are there that will be filled it take the average of surrounding pixel values and fill it up and then give new dim data so this is a so thing command you have to give fill sinks wang and leave that you have to remember now it is over close it now this close this watershed uh, it is automatically giving watershed we don't want now you just close it it will also give the watershed then flow direction also we don't want please close it then you got a fill dim this fill dim here you can see the difference the value difference in the original data maximum is 1824 minimum value is 82 after filling it is giving 89.03 meters lowest value highest value is 1785 this is a correct one now there is a gap if you use this when you make a 
3D or contouring, there will be some error. So you have to first fill the dem. Now we don't want this. You just remove this dem. Remove it. Now it has gone. So the dem is there. Now as told you, you can show colors also. Go to fill dem. The filled dem is in temporary file. If you want, you can make it a permanent uh, file also. So go to dem, go to properties, go to symbology. Instead of single gray color, you go to single band pseudo color. Then you have to choose color palette. This color palette is okay. Invert the color so that it fits with the low elevation. Blue color is with the low elevation, high elevation with the red color. Apply, say okay. Now it has got a color. Suppose you want some elevation separately, you wanted to do it. Suppose less than 400 meters, you want to get it, you can get it also. This is a relief map. So I am making one application. Go to raster. Go to raster calculator. In the raster calculator, you got the field dem. Double click it. It has come in the raw expression. Then you say less than symbol. Give 400. That means 400 meters. Then you have to give where it should be saved. Name giving the name less than 400. I have given just save it, save OK. See now, whatever in the white color, see the black is above 400 meters, whatever you see in white color or below. 400 meters. Similarly, this you can convert it into vector and then you can use it for your relief map. This is how you can just take different elevations. Say for example, one more example I'll tell you, I'll show you. Now I got this color. Go to my raster, raster calculator. You double click fill. It has come, filled it has come here. It is more than symbol I have given 400 meters then use and then again you double click filled it has come less than four twenty five so this this is the expression I have given and then I have given I have to go to output layer name it will ask name you say that 400 to 425 this is the file name I have given save it so save ok now it is choosing that interval height value now it is now it has come so whatever you are seeing in white color that is between 400 and 425 this is above 425 this is below 400 so this see white color is 425 this is how you have to application separately you can make it then what I can do is say for example here less than 400 see I wanted to convert into vector then only I can use for some analysis so what I should do either I have to digitize it or automatically you can digitize that is go to roster conversion polygonize raster to vector so automatically 
ไม่ less than 400 is loaded d in value that is height value I have given so I am just running giving press command run it is vectorized close this one see now you got vector data this vector data you go to attribute table because earlier in raster you cannot see the attribute table now you are going to attribute table in the attribute table the dn value 0 and 1s are there so you have to separate these two so what you should do you have to go make it editable in the attribute table go here that is select by expression go to the dn value equal to 1 because you got 1 and 0 you have to select only 1 so select the features See, here in the table, attribute table, it has selected 1. Wherever 1 is there, it is selected. 0 it left out. So, close this one. Now, you see your, close this. See, now you can see the vectorized map. See, already it is less than 400 is vectorized. So, you have to separate it out. So go here, right click it, export, export, save selected features, whatever you have selected it is appears in yellow color. So you have to save selected features. You have to give a name for it, vector file, less than 400 I have given, saved it save ok now see this is a file vector file less than 400 height has been saved similarly you can also go here and then you can vectorize it go to highlight this one Go to raster, conversion, polygonize, that is raster to vector, you type it, See, instead of uh, less than 400, you have to choose from this because we have taken earlier less than 400, now you have to take 400 to 425 is there already, the dn value, you have to take it, ask to run it, it is performing vectorization. It has done the vectorization. Now, you go to this file, right click it, go to the attribute table. So, here also 1 and zeros are there. Make it editable. Go to the selection tool, select features, dn value equal to 1 that 1 is between 424 400 to 424 so I have given select features see it has selected wherever 1 is there that has been selected 0 it has omitted now close this attribute table see now you see that between 400 425 is selected so you have to save this as a separate file click it export save selected feature as so i am going to give 400 to 425 this is my file name i save it 
shp means shape file see now it is saved see this is a class interval this is how you can just take different intervals suppose you want to make a relief map you can just make according to your choice you can select and then make a vectorization then combine all together then you will get a relief map from the dem this is how you have to make use of it so i'm closing it now make it invisible then i go to my raster data i just make it visible so relief we made it vector estate you have seen so this one application another application you can make hill shade that is i go to my raster in analysis i got different thing commands are there i have to go to hill shade you just click the hill shade input you have to give field dem you have to give because you got number of raster files you have opened that is why you have to give field dem then leave all others as it is then go and run it it has performed quickly see this is the output name the output file you can see the hill shape so three dimensional effect you are getting suppose you 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 bring the hill shade below this see hill shade is below the layer arrangement fill them is on the top right click it go to properties transparency you click it make the transparency according to your requirement name just made roughly 25 now you can see the colors you can see at the same time three dimensional hill shade effect also you are getting if you want to increase the colors go once again go to properties the transparency increase 50% apply now you can see the colors see earlier it was a flat color now you have given a three dimensional effect for hilly area see this is how you can make use of the hill shade you can also use hill shade separately just like this you can use it you can superimpose the roads other details that also will give an idea what is the type of terrain so i have given hill shade at the bottom filled them on the top made the transparency you got a effect this is one more application okay then you have to make contours now you just make it invisible we go here go to property make the transparency and the person apply see this is a dem now you wanted to make a contour go to raster extraction in the extraction the third one is contour in the contour you have to give default 10 is there you make you can make it say for example 25 earlier i have just shown 50 now i am taking 25 see we have seen in the introduction 20 meters 50 meters now i am giving 25 meters so simply run it so now it is extracting the contours from the digital elevation data so now you got 25 meter contour the contour is in light color you have to make it change the color so instead of this color you change it to brown color see the brown color we have chosen apply say okay see now you got 25 meter 
interval contour. This also you can just superimpose your boundary and then extract the details like earlier I have shown the Coimbatore, the Coimbatore polygon you can do it or Coimbatore taluk you can just superimpose, you can clip it and then you can show your relief map. This is how you have to derive contours. So now you are not able to see the values, so contour values. What which you to, what you should do? You have to go to the contour, go to properties, label, click it the label, click the label, single label, then the value elevation that you have to click it, and then say apply if you want to change the size and everything you can do it just i am applying now you can see 400 425 450 500 now you can see your contours values also you are getting so this way you have to create contours from the digital elevation data Now, now, I just make this invisible, okay, that background data, dim data, I make it invisible, only contours are visible. Now, I wanted to bring some application that is Google map. I go to HCM GIS base map, Google satellite or Google satellite hybrid that is the names will come only uh, if you use this Google satellite only satellite data will be there I take the name hybrid means you will get names of the place name of the places so it has come exactly you need not register already it is registered it has come what you should do you have to Google hybrid you have to bring it down the contours now contours are the top Google map is at the bottom. Now you zoom and then see the details. If you are not able to see, you have to change the color. So in this it is not visible. I am going to change the color. Double click it. Symbology. Instead of brown, I am taking yellow color. Yellow color. Say apply. OK. See over this Google map, the yellow colors are very much visible. Now you can zoom and see your built up area and other details. See, this is the Coimbatore Gandhi Brahm area. See how the contour pattern is running. You can just, if you want, still it is not clear, you change the color into magenta. Instead of this, you go to magenta color. Say apply, OK. Now you can see the colors. See how the built up area has come. If you take lower contours, you can see which are the area, low areas, how it will be, whether that area is flood prone. If you are, if you, if you are doing some cultivable lands, whether the area will get a water, all these things you can just visualize using the contours. So this is the one application. It is possible only in QuickGIS because quickly it will come. In the other softwares it will take more time. But in QGIS you can bring any, uh, any of the data. Say for example, I don't want this data. Instead of Google map, I just close this data. I want some other data. See, I just go to my base map i take it i take open street map whether i can take this or i can go to quick map service open street map see now you are able to clearly you are able to see the places and the contours also between contours, some Maradamala area, 
Vadavalli, that is Agriculture College, Coimbatore Agricultural College. Now you can see here that uh, contours are there, between which height the places are coming, how the road alignment, all these things you can uh, see it. Any, any map you can just bring and then apply over this and then you can study. See this is a steep slope area prone for landslide. This is a wide area undulating topography. So this is how you can just create contours and study. You can also make cross profile that I will show you in the next part because this is a very big subject. Step by step I will go because in one video if I show, show all these things you may not be in a position to understand. So I will stop in this this particular exercise and then go to third part. In the third part I will show you how to create 3D as well as cross profile, how to study the cross profile and then study the landforms. Hope this video is very much interesting for you. If you like it, press the bell, subscribe it, share it with your friends and then comment it. Thank you so much.